My name is Sally Taglamonte, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my new book, Making Waves, the Story of Variationist Sociolinguistics. So, Making Waves. Why did I call the book Making Waves? Well, N-Wave, New Ways of Analyzing Variation, is the main conference of variationist sociolinguistics. And so the, the motif of wave is, has been around for a long time. The double entendre is the fact that the people who built variation as sociolinguistics really stirred things up. The beginning of N-Wave was meant to be a new way of doing linguistics, empirically grounded and integrative. And so making waves is what happened as variation as sociolinguistics developed and picked up speed. My aim in the book was to interview all the first and second generation scholars who had contributed to variation of sociolinguistics. And in the end, I interviewed 43 people in the United States, in Canada, in Europe, and even Australia. So how did I find all the sociolinguists? Well, for the most part, I found them by going to conferences and finding out who was giving talks or presentations and setting up a time to sit down and talk about sociolinguistics. But in some cases, certain people were very easy to find. For example, my colleague, Jack Chambers, is just down the hall. And so I was able to interview him on several occasions, and we had a wonderful time talking about sociolinguistics. People ask me, who's going to read your book if they're not a linguist? Well, have you ever wondered how really great ideas happen? Well, it happens because there's a synergy between people. And my book records how that happened, how one idea led to another idea, and how ideas spread and captivate the imagination of a generation. My book is not a textbook. I wanted to write the story of variation of sociolinguistics so that it would be interesting and it would draw people in. My book is written kind of like a novel, so that from one phase of the development of the field to another, you're learning about what individuals were doing, what they were thinking, and how they were doing things. Making Waves is going to be out in September 2015. But even before it comes out, I've already started on the next chapter of the new book. And that is to interview the third generation. People like me who came into the field because they were excited by what had been built in the 60s and 70s and 80s. And I've already started that. I had the time of my life doing the interviews and writing this book. It was so much fun interviewing sociolinguists. It was not fun writing the book, but you're going to have fun reading it.